All right. The case or not the case? This is the question. I'm always experimenting and I'm always trying new things or just comparing one thing to the other. I have also tested casing from the get-go or not casing at all or waiting for it to colonize and then case later. Now, with the most common cocoa quarter loving mushrooms, the ones that I like to grow, for example, with Piopinos and also with the more exotic ones that are uh, cocoa quarter loving, I always case. I always case, do a casing layer from the get-go. My experience has been that it helps uh, against contamination. You have that layer on top, keeping everything safe and colonizing underneath, and then it goes through the casing layer. Sometimes they just poke through the casing layer and you can see the brown cocoa core and then they're poking through. Sometimes the mycelium gets all that casing layer all white and then they uh, fruit. But I have found better results with uh, casing from the get-go, which is also called a, a pseudo casing layer. Um, because it's not a casing layer that you add later to induce pinning. I also like it because I just set it and forget it. I do it, I go straight to fruiting, let it do its thing, and it works great. Of course, some strains need a casing layer later, uh, or they will never pin, that type of thing. I'm not going to get into all that stuff. I'm just talking about the more common um, strains that I like to grow, and uh, Piopino is one of them, and some more exotic ones that are core loving. Most of the core loving, uh, they're not very weird uh, mushrooms. You can do what I'm doing. Now, here's the thing. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to make a video on comparing side by side uh, spawning to bulk from the same liquid culture, same mushrooms, of course, same mycelium. And I'm going to have one container uh, with a casing layer and one without. Um, and I know they're both going to work. But what I want to see is if one of them pins faster, if one of them gets more fruits, if one of them has any problems with contamination, which I haven't found to be the case even without a casing layer. But it's going to be a, a cool experiment to follow. Um, just for the fun of it, because um, I like to experiment. So this video is the first part, part one, um, just explaining what we're going to do and showing you some pictures of what I did. And then I'm gonna continue with different parts, showing you how the progress goes. So stay tuned.